All right, bro. Uh, I got some anti-static gloves, like screwdrivers. I got this anti-static wrist strap too. Um, I didn't really see any metal that I could connect it to. Everything else looks plastic on the outside. Um, so I'm gonna just, I just stuck it to the side where the, where the, uh, where the uh, cage is for now. But I got that on. Um, and then say the discharge, you just plug in. We got the power on. But I'm also going to use anti static gloves as well. But I've done this last time. The last time I just used the anti static gloves, I just got the, the wrist strap as an extra precaution. Moving the four, eight, nine, 10, 11 screws from the bottom. Plastic latch connectors inside the head there. Slide the pot open. So inside this baby, as you can see, and I'm going to disconnect the battery, but in order to disconnect the battery, you got to take off this cooling band. I'm going to set them on a look at this box. disconnect that cooling fan i'm just going to set it to the side i could disconnect it if i want to but i'm not i'm just gonna pop the battery clamp up like that so now that now the, now the power is disconnected so that's good so now we're gonna go in here and remove these RAM sets. And all you gotta do for these, this is a little heat sink. All you gotta do is, this will go. Just pull these clips at the side, like this. Boom. And then I just remove them. Just as simple. That's that. Do the reverse action. it in a place and then it drops down into the into the little locks. Yeah they put she put something heavy on it. Yeah. Yep and those are in place now. Put an SSD. I'm sorry baby. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I started doing this before it, before you got those groceries. If I was just trying to be quick about it, because it's not. It is pretty quick, but then I had to take a few minutes to look with her fingers, and then yeah, I don't want that. And then here's the. Uh, she tried to give me the receipt. I don't want that receipt. Oh. Here's the SSD slot on the other side, and you can see if it if it's right, if it's right in place. There's a screw right here. Just like this screw right here. The same thing, basically identical. You can see the slide, it only goes in one way. Take that screw, put that down in place. And that's gonna keep that SSD lock down. Nice and have power. Yep, can't do nothing without that.
that. So just push that back down in place. The metal collapse goes up over it to keep it down. Like the metal slides back and forth. You'll feel it. Real simple. And keep in mind you shouldn't have to force anything. Everything should open pretty easily once you figure out the mechanism. Don't sit down on the laptop case either. stress the plastic right here a little bit. You see that? There's nothing. I said, here goes nothing. I just upgraded my the laptop memory. Let's reconnect. Let's initialized I hate dust I like electronics can say dust is all the time so yeah let me, let's, let me get the stuff cleaned up let me get the stuff cleaned up real quick and I'll just no, it's now instead of at 50% RAM, we're at 20%. And then storage, I have to format the SSD real quick. Do that now. So I went to disk management, just right clicked on a new drive and, for, and uh, uh, just go through the process of formatting. It's pretty self explanatory. But yeah, there it is right there. And then if I go to. Performing a lot faster. Let's see how fast DaVinci opens. One, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Let's see how fast Lightroom opens. One, two, three. It's pretty quick, it's pretty snappy.